In this video lecture, we're going to summarize the shape of the molecules that we discussed earlier in the previous video lectures. So, uh, uh, there are five basic shapes. Uh, if you have two electron densities, two bonding pairs of electrons, the shape is going to be linear. One bond would repel the other bond and it's going to be on the on completely the opposite side. So, remember the arrangement is always around the central atom which is uh, shown in grey over here. So the angle uh, uh, the bonds would be making would be 180 degrees. So this is your first basic shape. The second shape is trigonal planar. So this is a trigonal planar uh, geometry. Uh, if you have three bonding pairs of electrons, you have three bonds, uh, they would be arranged in a fan-shaped manner and it's going to be a flat-shaped molecule. It's going to be a planar molecule and all the angles between the bonds are going to be 120 degrees. Now, um, uh, there are going to be some variations in this. Uh, the variation would be uh, this molecule over here, which uh, is if you have, instead of uh, three bonds, you have two bonds and you have a lone pair of electrons over here. Now, because the lone pair exerts a greater repulsion, the angles, these two bonds would be repelled and they would be slightly closer together. So the angle would be 117 degrees instead of the 120 degree and the shape because there's no atom attached on this side so since there is no atom attached the shape is going to be called a bent shaped it's uh, because there's no nothing on the third side uh, so if you have one lone pair and two bonding pairs of electrons the shape is going to be bent the next basic shape is a tetrahedral shape a tetrahedral shape has four uh, bonding pairs of electrons so four bonds and one bond coming out of the page, one going into the page, and all the angles are going to be 109.5 degrees between the bonds. So this is a tetrahedral shape where four bonds would try to be as far away from each other as possible in the three-dimensional shape, uh, three-dimensional space. And there are going to be uh, two variations of this shape. One variation is that instead of having four bonds, uh, one side there are a lone pair of electrons. There's no atom attached on this side, but there is a pair of outer shell electrons. A uh, lone pair of electrons and uh, the rest of the bonds there are three bonds so if you have three bonds and one lone pair the shape is exactly the same but since there's no atom attached over here so it's going to look like a pyramid and this is called a trigonal pyramidal ar arrangement if you have one lone pair and three bonding pairs and another version of the same um, tetrahedral shape is that it, uh, you have four electron indices but this time you have two bonds and on two sides you have lone pairs of electrons so uh, if you have two lone pairs of electrons, uh, because of the greater repulsion of the electrons, lone pairs of electrons, the two bonds would be even closer together and the angle would be 104.5 degrees and the shape is going to be called bent because there's no bonds, no atoms attached over here. So uh, only these two bonds would be counted in the shape. So it's going to be a bent shape. So if you have two lone pairs, two bond pairs, you still have four electron densities and the shape would be called bent. Uh, over here the angle was 107 degrees and over here the angle is 109.5 degrees. So as you have more lone pairs, there's greater repulsion, the bonds become closer together. If you have two lone pairs, there's even greater repulsion and the bonds come even closer together. The next geometry that we're going to discuss, uh, the basic geometry is called a trigonal pyramidal arrangement. So a trigonal pyramidal arrangement is when you have five bonds. So three bonds in the middle are arranged in a fan-shaped manner. So just like uh, the blades of the fan, they're arranged in a fan shaped manner and the angles that the bonds would be making, these three bonds over here would be 120 degrees between them. And there would be one bond sticking at the bottom and one bond sticking at the top of this fan shaped arrangement. So these bonds, the one above and the one below, will be making an angle of 90 degree with the fan shaped bonds over here. So this is a trigonal pyramidal arrangement and there would be three versions uh, that you could have from this derived from this trigonal pyramidal arrangement. The three versions are that one is that instead of one bond you have uh, a lone pair. So you have four bonds, so that's four electron densities, but on the, on the other side, the, on one side there is a lone pair of electrons. Now this is called a seesaw arrangement. The geometry is called described as a seesaw arrangement because there's no no atom attached on this side, so this side would not be counted in the shape. So it's it's like a seesaw with a stand in the middle. Uh, so if you have one lone pair and four bonding pairs of electrons, it's a seesaw shape. Uh, meanwhile, if you have there's another version of the same uh, shape. If you have two lone pairs instead of two bonds, and there are three bonds, so. On two sides, there are lone pairs, and these lone pairs would not be counted in the shape because there is no atom attached on this side. So this arrangement uh, 
considering the bonds and the atoms this would be a t-shaped arrangement so if you have two lone pairs and three bonding pairs of electrons that's a t-shaped arrangement and the third version is that if you have three lone pairs so the fan shaped bonds are now basically lone pairs of electrons there are no atoms attached so there's no uh, nothing around this uh, these lone pairs so there's going to be one bond on top and one at the bottom and it's going to be a linear arrangement so if you have three lone pairs and two bonding pairs of electrons then the arrangement would be called linear the last basic shape is an octahedral arrangement an octahedral arrangement is when you have six bond so one arranged in a square manner so there's one bond coming out of the page one on the right one on the left one behind the atom and one on top and one at the bottom and all the angles in this in this arrangement are 90 degrees so if you have six bonding pairs of electrons that's a octahedral arrangement the other versions are that if you have uh, one lone pair instead of one bond so the arrangement would become square pyramidal so it's going to look like a pyramid with with four-sided pyramids so it's going to look like a four-sided pyramid there's nothing attached on this side so this would not be counted in the shape so the angles are still 90 degrees but the shape would be called square pyram pyramidal and another version of the same uh, shape uh, derivation of the same shape is that if you have two lone pairs instead of two bonds and so this would be a square arrangement it's going to be a flat molecule because uh, the bond that was sticking on top and the bond that is sticking at the bottom is gone now so it's going to be a square planar arrangement so when you have two lone pairs and four bonding pairs of electrons the arrangement is going to be square planar uh, so and all the angles are going to be 90 degrees so these uh, five shapes are the basic shapes the rest of the shapes are derived the rest of the shapes are derived from these shapes uh, depending on how many lone pairs are added and how many bonds there are in a molecule.